Hello world, this is Lock Picking Dev. Today I have a whole bunch of brass master locks. It is the Model 150, the Model 140, and two different versions, a Model 130, and what I can only assume is the Model 120. There's no imprint on it, but it is 20 millimeter and a master. We'll start by opening a little 120, just for the sake of picking a lock, and because I don't have any of these other models ungutted. It's only three pins. And I think I overset. So restart. There we go. One, three. There we go. And there's our open. So quick little, that is standard pin master 120. And we will start with that one it is all the way over here to the right. And you can see that the 120 is standard pin. So no serrations on the bottom and no serrations or spools on the top there. One thing to note about them too is these are thinner pins than all the rest of the series. And then over here is our 130. We notice that there are spools in here. They are short little spools. And for our 130, this is our actuator. Oh, there we go. So it's the ones that we've been seeing where the tailpiece goes in like that and lifts them that way. And so let's go to our 150 next. For our 150, we also see that it is spooled. Um, bigger spools because bigger lock and five pins in this one whereas so far in the 120 we saw three pins over here in the 130 we saw four pins and the 150 we are seeing five pins four than spools here's where things get interesting is the 140s so over here we have two models of 140s in fact let me move things around so i can get this more clear There we go. And on the right, the 140 has spools, and on the left, it is all standard pin. And so what I notice is one definitely looks a little older, as you can tell, on the right-hand side there. And the plugs look different as well. So you can see that this one, um, even though they both have four pins, this one only has four key pin holes or is this one has five key pin holes. Uh, when I was uh, drilling this one out, I had to go and tap this one and drill it out next because I didn't realize it was there. Um, another thing to note is this one is shaved off on both sides to consume uh, conserve on metal. As you can see on that side and that side. And one has it stamped uh, made in China, whereas the other does not. So if we look on the bottom here, so we got the China number 140 there. The 140 is right here over here, and they are different looking. Um, yeah, both the 140s look different themselves. So the uh, whatever font they used in, its, in itself. And then, let's see. It's hard to see down there to see the actuator, so I'm going to get out a flashlight real quick. The one on the right's just a little dirty and dark. If it'll focus, maybe. There we go. So you can see the one on the right, it's a little hard to focus, but it's just the same as the ones that we just saw, where it's the left and right actuator moving up and down. Same with, exact same as this one right here, basically. Just looks a little bit different. And so, yeah, other than that, I'm not sure. Um, the difference is so they must be made in a different factory is what I'm assuming um, and that's why they have the differences all around but something to be aware of is our uh, 140s and our, our or no just our, our 140s can have different pinning in them so yeah here is our um, our series of brass master locks from our little 130 over here which again three pins all standard very small pins compared to the rest uh, our 130 has spools small spools 150 in the center here has spools as well four spools and then our 140 over here 
has a spools in the one that says uh, China on the bottom and no spools in the other one uh, over there that looks a little newer. So there we have it. I hope this helped uh, um, everyone learning to pick on these locks. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.